It's everybody's favorite day of the week, Friday, which means it is finally the weekend. Hi guys, it's Sam and I'm here today to do my Friday Reads video. I am here to tell you guys what I plan to read this lovely Friday and in the coming week. And I will be participating in a readathon, so I'll be telling you guys a little bit about that and all of that good stuff. So today's Friday, like I said in the intro, obviously it's why I'm here at the Friday Reads video. I hope everybody had a good week and is excited for the weekend. I know I am, except for it's going to be miserably hot. I'm not a heat person and it's going to be in the 90s, so I'm kind of dreading that, but... It's okay, that's when we stay inside, stay in the shade, and read. It's perfect reading weather. <laughs> so the main thing I'm going to be reading this weekend is The Shape of Magic by Robin Hobb. I'm going to be finishing this book up. I'm about halfway through now, so I have about 400 pages left. So I'm going to be finishing it this weekend. I need to finish it this weekend, and I can't wait. I'm really, really, really enjoying it so far. Hey, Kyle. Kyle is a character in this book that I hate. Didn't think Robin Hogg can make anybody worse than Regal, but she succeeded with this book because I hate Kyle. So, yeah. Other than my hatred for Kyle, I'm really enjoying the book. It's really, really, really interesting. The magic in this book is fascinating. It basically follows these trader families who have these live ships, and it takes three people dying on their decks, three owners, three captains, all from the same family, to quicken the ship and bring the figurehead and the whole ship alive. And it is just so good and interesting, and the characters are great. I just love Robin Hobb's writing, so I'm definitely going to be enjoying reading this this weekend. Now, as I said in the intro, I'm going to be also participating in a readathon next week, and that is the Topic-a-thon. And it is hosted by the blogger Miriam. And her blog is Between Lines and Life. So I'll link that down below. She hosts this readathons called the Topic-a-thon. And basically you just have to choose a topic. And then you read all of the books that fit into that topic in a week's time. So it starts on the 8th and it will end on the 14th. So in that time period you have to read as many books as you can. And the topic of your own choosing. I have decided to go with Arthurian retellings for my topic. Because I have a lot of Arthurian retelling books on my TBR. I haven't read yet that I'm really, really intrigued to get to. But you can choose anything. You can choose books with swords, books with sorcery, fantasy books, historical romance, things like that. Just basically anything that you want to choose for a topic that might fit books on your TBR, and then you read as much as you can in books in that genre. So like I said, I chose Arthurian literature. So I'll tell you guys the two books I chose for that topic. I only chose two because I know it's probably the only amount that I'll be able to get through in a week. I typically read about one to two books a week, so... I know that the week is busy for me with work and stuff, so I know that I won't be able to read more than that. But the two books I chose are T.H. White, The Once and Future King. I have mentioned this in several TBR videos because I've been meaning to read it for a while, but I've already gotten 100 pages into it a few months ago, so I need to finish it. I'm going to be reading it with Beth from Bangy Doings, and I'm excited to do so. And the other one I chose is going to be The Sky Stone by Jack White. I've had this book for several months, and I've really been wanting to get to it. Brock from Let's Read says it's really, really good, so I can't wait to see how it is for myself. I know it starts early earlier than most Arthurian retellings start. So it starts with the Romans, and I believe it's like Arthur's grandfather or great-grandfather or something like that. So it sounds really interesting and intriguing, and I just really want to read it, so it's going to happen. So those are the two books that I chose for this readathon. If you guys are going to be participating, let me know down in the comments what books you're choosing, and I will also link our blog down below if you guys want to participate. And will be you can follow along people's progress on Twitter using the hashtag Topicathon, so be sure to do that because it's going to be fun. As for what else else I'm going to be doing this weekend, really, just a lot of reading, I think, trying to stay cool. I don't know if I'll go on a bike ride because I think that might be miserable in the heat because I hate the heat. So yeah, just lemonade drinking and reading is my major plans for this weekend and sleeping because sleep is a beautiful thing. I literally regret every nap I did not take as a child. That was a mistake. That was a mistake, little Sam. That was a mistake. I will also probably be coloring because, I, you know, I'm addicted to that Enchanted Forest coloring book by Johanna Basford. I've completed a picture earlier this week, so that's, that's on my Instagram if you guys want to check that out. Link's down below. But, yeah, I'm hoping to do another page maybe this weekend. Listen to an audiobook. Get about two hours left in The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson, so I want to finish that up because it's getting really, really interesting. So I'll probably do that in color. And, yeah, that's basically my plans for the weekend. Pretty low-key, so that's always good. <laughs> All right, guys, that was it for my Friday Reads video. It's kind of what I plan on reading this Friday. Friday and this weekend and into next week. Let me know down in the comments what you will be reading, if you have anything exciting going on, or if you're going to be participating in Topicathon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy reading and have a great weekend. Bye!